Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create some NFT game assets with an AI generator called Scenario. Now this is part of a series of videos that we're putting together on introducing Unity and the gaming kit by Third Web. Now this is the second video in this series. So if you wanna check out the first one, we went over how to set up a Unity project and how to go ahead and import and install the third web SDK and get a connect wallet feature going on our unity project. We'll go ahead and link that video somewhere up here. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, you can go ahead and click on that. Now in this video, like I said, we are going to go over how to create AI generated art and turn them into NFTs for our game. So we're going to be using an AI generator called Scenario, which is focused on creating game assets using AI. And we're gonna go ahead and use Third Web to go ahead and create those image assets that we make into NFTs that we can then use in our Unity project. So let's go ahead, let's get started. Let's check out Scenario here and I'll show you how to go ahead and generate some AI artwork. Before we get into the video, currently 70% of you amazing people who watch our videos are not subscribed to our channel. So if you do find value and you do enjoy these videos do us a small favor hit that subscribe button join the 30 percent on top of that every week we will be selecting 10 subscribers and we will be airdropping a very special third web nft so right now i am on the scenario website you can see you can create ai generated game assets you can read a little bit more about it and basically all you do for this ai generator is you give it some images and things that you want to reference to go ahead and train the AI and then you can go ahead and export those images and those things are what we are going to go ahead and use for our NFTs so you can go ahead and make an account and everything I am signed into my account right now this is my home page and there are a few things that you can do uh, everything here on the left hand side is kind of our menu so in our home page it's going to show like the latest images and everything that were generated it's going to show Show you your generators and now your generators are again what you're going to create with those reference files uh, images and you can use those generators to go ahead and create your game assets so if you look at generators here i have two generators right now um, we have this one that has like a warrior character in it and we also have this one here which is a bunch of keys which we're going to use to create a key for our nft now, in order to create a generator, you can come down here and then you can create a generator. Now you do need a generator in order to generate images. So we do need to create a generator first. Uh, we're gonna use these, but I'll show you how to go ahead and create one. So if you go to create a generator, you'll have to go ahead and name your generator. So we'll just put demo keys demo. And what you're gonna do is drag reference images into here you have to upload at least five samples so i have eight key images here you can go ahead and just drag them on there and what you're going to have to do is you can adjust the crop and everything make sure they are good uh, you can skip this but as you could see sometimes it doesn't crop the images properly so i like to go ahead and just double check and go through them so you can hit accept make sure everything is good Make sure like these things, you know, contain the whole key and everything. And all you need to do is just drag out the frame around them. All right, and once you have all your references imported here, you can go down to the bottom and hit next. Now there's a few different things that you can do. You can do auto, which is gonna have pre-selected parameters on how it's going to train the AI. Uh, if you are a little bit more used to everything, you can go into the advanced section and you can fine tune some of these parameters. Uh, but for this example, we're just gonna select auto and we're gonna hit next. Now it's gonna ask us what do we wanna create? What kind of asset do we wanna create? So you can select avatars if you're looking to create like a avatar, character, uh, if you're looking to do weapons or clothing or gear, you can do that as well. Now for this one, we're gonna probably do a digital asset and maybe we'll do like a badge or something, kind of like these things here. So it'll show you examples of what it would generate things like. So you can kind of pick examples, you can uh, go through these, maybe, maybe we wanna do toys or maybe uh, a gem or we got potions. 
Uh, so you can choose different things that you think your um, asset that you're looking to generate needs to be like. Uh, what we're gonna go digital asset, we're just gonna do badge right here. And then what we're gonna do is click on start training. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna start creating this AI generator for you based on the reference images that you put inside. Now this training process does take some time. Instead of waiting for this to happen, we're gonna go back to the generators that I currently have. Uh, we're gonna go to this demo key one here. And when we click into the generator, you can actually go ahead and start generating images or you can come down to the generate images down here in the left. So we'll go ahead and click generate images here. Now. There are a few things that we can go ahead and put on the left hand side here. If we want to describe or get a little bit more specific of what we're looking for, we can go ahead and type in something in here. We can say how much images we want to generate. For this example, we're just going to do four. Now we also have sampling steps. Now sampling steps is how the quality of the rendered images are going to come out. Uh, the max goes up to 150. So we'll do 50 first. We'll go over 150 later. And then you have some other things like dimensions. Guidance is how similar you want your assets to come out to the asset um the generator images that we put so you can kind of toggle it up if you want it to really look like the images that you put in or if you kind of want it to have some freedom and you know get creative with it you can put it a little lower so we're just going to leave that maybe at four here and let's generate a set of images and let's see how they come out so you can see the four images are going to start generating right now and they'll slowly go ahead and produce us uh, some key assets based on the reference keys that we gave. All right, so you can see here, these are the images that we came up with. Um, we have those ones right here. Now, what we can do is let's take a look at maybe we want to do some tweaking to these things and get it closer to what we're looking for. So maybe I can put here, maybe I'll put, uh, I want to make sure the key is gold. So we'll put a gold key. And you can hit enter and you can put in as much prompts as you want here. Uh, and let's turn up the sampling up to 150, which is the max amount. Uh, we'll leave it at four and maybe the guidance, maybe um, we'll turn it down just a bit more and see if we get different results. So we'll hit generate image again. Now with the sampling steps being higher, it is going to take a little bit longer to generate. Uh, but you can see we have another set of four keys being generated here. And you can see now the new set of four images or keys are being generated. They are taking a little bit more time than the previous ones, but we should be able to get a better detailed result from them. So you can see here, these are the four new keys. Now these are a little bit less like keys, some of them, um, like this one here has like two weird keys coming out of it. This one I really like, um, it looks a little bit 3D. So maybe we'll go with that one. And then we got that one here as well that generated at the end for us. And then we can go ahead and turn up guidance and we can generate another set of images here just to see what kind of differences and what other results come out from it. So again, you can go ahead and play around with the different settings and parameters on the left hand side to generate different images. And you can keep going and generating. If you want to generate more images, you can generate more. Uh, I like to kind of find the prompts and parameters down here that I like first. And then once I find something I like, maybe I'll generate a bit more images to get more variety. And then I can select one of the keys that I like the best. All right, so I generated a few images and everything, and I think that maybe I'm going to go with this key right here that I generated. So if I click on it, what you can do is you can actually go ahead and download it right over here, but you'll see a little menu up here in the top left. If you click on that, you can actually go ahead and refine it if you want to a little. It, it will kind of use that image and reference it. And what we can do is we can maybe do increase the sampling a little bit on it and then we can hit generate image and it'll use that as the reference image and it'll fine tune it a little bit more. All right, so we can see this is our next set of four that we came out with and you know, maybe I thinking I'm liking and I'm thinking I'm liking this one the best. Now in that menu again, there is a remove background and if you click on that, it'll actually remove the background and give you a 
version of the key without the background in it. So you can use the remove background. It's a great way to just get the asset if you know you're just looking to get that and you don't need a background in it. So now that we have our image of our key that we want to make as our NFT, let's go ahead and create that NFT using third web. Now, the reason we're creating a key NFT is in order to play our game, someone needs to own the key NFT to go ahead and play the game. So what we're going to end up doing is creating this NFT and in later videos in this series, we're going to check to see if the wallet connected to our Unity game holds one of these key NFTs. If they do, they'll be able to continue playing the game. And if they don't, we'll go ahead and allow them to claim one of the key NFTs directly in our Unity game itself. So let's go ahead, let's create this key NFT using Third Web. So now that I have that image downloaded of our key, what we can do here is we'll go to Third Web, we'll go to our Third Web dashboard here, and we're gonna deploy a new contract. Now I'm going to create a NFT, an NFT drop, but an addition drop, we're going to make this an 11, 50, uh, ERC 1155. That way we can create one key NFT, but multiple wallets can own this one key NFT. So we're going to go ahead and hit deploy on addition drop. And if you don't see it up here in the popular section, you can always come to the NFT section here, click on view all, and you can find the addition drop smart contract. We're going to go ahead and hit deploy. We're going to hit deploy now in the top right corner. And then we're going to name this uh, key access. And we're just going to give it a symbol of key. We'll upload our image of the key here. Now, this is the collection image. This isn't the NFT image of what we're making the NFT yet. Uh, but in the description here, we'll put uh, this key uh, gives you access to our game. All right. Uh, we're going to keep uh, the payout settings the same here. And we're going to deploy this on the Gorilla testnet. So I'm going to click on deploy. We'll get a transaction here that we need to go ahead and confirm. And then we'll go ahead and sign the request here to add it to our dashboard. OK, and once it has been successfully deployed, we'll come over to the contract dashboard here. And what we'll do is under the NFT section here, We'll go ahead and go to that. And you can see we have no NFTs, but we're going to do a single upload here. We're going to name this, uh, we'll name it access key. And we'll drag that image of the key that we created using scenario. And we can add a description, property, and traits if we want to. We're just going to add the name and the image here. And we're going to go ahead and lazy mint this NFT. Once the transaction comes up, we'll go ahead and confirm it. All right, and you can see that our access key has been minted. The supply is at zero right now. Now there's one more thing we have to do and it set the claim condition for it so that we can actually claim these access keys. So we'll click on it. And right here under next to the details to the right, there's claim conditions. Now we're gonna add an initial claim phase here. Uh, we'll just leave it named phase one and we're going to leave it as unlimited because we just want people to be able to claim these in order to play our game for this example we're not going to charge anything but if you did want to say charge that say people needed to pay a certain amount to get access to the game you could put that there or you can limit it to wallets that collected and you can also say how many nfts can be claimed per wallet we're going to change this one to one because Someone just needs to claim one NFT in order to go ahead and play our game. Once we have that set, we'll go ahead and hit save claim phases here. We'll wait till a transaction comes up and we will confirm. And there we go. And there we have it. We went ahead and created an NFT that we used AI generated artwork from Scenario to go ahead and produce that. And with this NFT, we're going to go ahead and in a way token gate our Unity project and only allow people who own this NFT to go ahead and play the game. Now, in the next videos of our series, we're actually going to learn how to do this in our Unity project. So we're going to go ahead and check if the connected wallet has 
has the NFT required to play the game. If they do, they can play the game. And if they don't, we'll go ahead and create a page where someone can go ahead and claim one of these key NFTs directly in the Unity game so that they can go ahead and play. Now in those future videos, we are building upon the first video in this series where we went ahead and set up a Unity project. So if we didn't check that out yet, you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, we'll link it somewhere in this video. But if you folks did find this video helpful and you did find some value in it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well so you know when we post more videos and tutorials just like this. Don't forget to join our Discord if you haven't already. If you need help with anything or any support, you can drop your question down in our Discord and we're always there to help you out. So again, I hope you folks really enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next video of this series.